Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video of my channel. So in today's video, I've just finished a book called Freddy and the French Fries, The Mystery of Silas Finkley Bean by David ba um, Baudassi. So um, this book is kind of like a scientific book. So it is about a nine years old boy named Freddy and his family owns a restaurant named Burger Castle. So the Burger Castle is, um, they built it from a very old castle from a long, long, long time ago. So when, and then Freddy have his six friends, so they are French, fry, French fries. So Freddy just called and made them and he make the French fries come to life. So Freddy have six French fries and that night the Freddy and the French fries decided to explore the uh, burger castle basement because it is kind of like an interesting uh, in interesting place and they wanted to discover like what it, it is down there and they need to dis uh, discover the basement. So when they entered the basement, they saw a very big hole on the wall. So they decided to break that hole and make it bigger so that they can come through. So when they are through the hole, they see a very long hallway in front of them. So they walk down the hallway and then they saw the, a trap door on top of the ceiling. So they open a the trap door and they peek inside. So they saw a, a room, so they noticed that there are two people inside that room. So they know that the spanker are in the room. So the spankers are a family that live across the street and the spanker own a restaurant called Patty Cakes. So Patty Cakes is a restaurant where they sell cakes and stuff. So Freddy family doesn't like the uh, Freddy family didn't like the spanker that much because the spankers is kind of like enemies with Freddy's. So the spankers have a, a little boy named Adam. So Adam hate Freddy very much. So Freddy basically hates Adam too. So they see Adam and his dad in the office. So they just leave it there and then they go back. They decided to go back. So when they are heading back, they saw a figure just floating, floating uh, midair. So they are very scared. So they decided to approach that figure and they get scared and then they ran away. So Freddy said that um, the figure looked familiar with him. So the next morning, Freddy and his best friend, Howie, decided to go to the, lab, the, the, the library near his school to find a book to talk about that man. So it is the Ask the Librarian Day. So Freddy and Howie decided to ask the librarian, Mrs. Mildred. So they decided to ask Mrs. Mildred about that figure, about that mystery man. So Mrs. Mildred said that that main name is um, Silas Frinkley Bean. So Silas was a famous inventor, just like Freddy and his dad. So he have invented a lot of famous and interesting inventions. Like it is still a mystery and people still need to learn more about him. So Freddy get excited and then that night he decided to go back down there and he need to explore the lab of Silas. So Silas have a secret lab where he have done all of his experiments. So Freddy and the French fries decided to go down there and explore. So there are a lot of interesting things down there. And then they found a book with the recipe of something that it didn't show. So they decided to bring that book up and ask uh, Freddy decided to ask his dad. So his dad said that the recipe is shown to make a time machine. So Freddy get really excited and then he knows that this machine is perfect for the science competition that he uh, he um, signed in. So he decided, so 
he has the time machine. It's a perfect machine to win that science competition. So Freddy decided to split up with his French fries friend, and he asked that, and he get the list of all the things that they need to finish the time machine. So it takes them several days to finish the time machine, but they need to have one thing left to put in the time machine. That is the kind of like the stick, and it has some several circles on it to put put in the time machine. The this thing, so that it they can they can um, have the time machine done. So. They decided to go back to the library to ask the librarian, Mrs. Milfred, to ask about this stuff, like if she have it. So luckily, the librarian have it. So she give it to them, and then they are happily. Then they went back to the lab and put it in the time machine. So that is done. So finally, they need a blue liquid to start the time machine. So. Luckily, they have one in their lab, so they took it, and the time machine are done. So they need to get the time machine to the science competition, and then they know that the Spanker are building a volcano, but with the help of one smart kid on in the school. So the kid name is wait a minute, I forgot the name. So the kid name is Harold, and he is a small boy, and he has orange hands, and he's pretty smart. So the Spanker hired him to build their volcano, and basically they will take off the credit and said that they invented it, they built it all by themselves. So that is unfair. So the competition came, and all of the best science product are bring. And the Spanker are showing off their volcanoes, so the volcano should be shooting slime to the burger castle, but it did the opposite. It shoots the slime to the patty cakes. So Freddy has his revenge on the Spankers, so he's very happy. And then the Spankers are after Freddy, and they wanted to beat Freddy up. So Freddy started to run, and then they run. They ran to the time machine, and then they press the button. Whoosh! They travel two hundred years to the future. So now they are in the future, and they didn't know what to do. So they decided to go explore. So they are in the future. So everything looks different. Just several hundred years, and everything's completely changed. So, Freddy and the French fries, they they need to find one important person. That is Silas Frinkly Bean. So, because they need to find Silas, because they will ask Silas how to get home. So, they found Silas in a luxury apartment, and then Silas said that. I break the law of the future because I travel to the future and get all of the、um, information from the future, and then I bring it, bring that to the past, so that I can make great invention. So that is not fair. That is cheating. So Silas have break the rules. So he's stuck in the future forever. So he is he will um he can't not leave his apartment because he have um. A ring on his hand, and when he leaves the apartment, the police can track him down. So, Freddy decided to bring Silas back home. So Freddy need a plan to bring Silas back. So, Freddy have a very great plan that they will fight off the police. So they fight off the police for a long, long time, and finally they made it, and then they bring Silas back to the past. So Sila, frankly, being a very happy to be back home, he can meet his daughter right now, and he's very happy and he's very pleased to be back home. So Freddy and the French fry decided to go back to their home, and when they are back, 
everyone a very surprised to see that when they disappear and then they reappear again. And then the reporter said that, how did you do that? And Freddy said that, it, it is because of my time travel machine. So everyone didn't believe that and they laughed because they thought it was a joke. So the reporter asked Freddy that if he have a clues or if he have a proof to prove to everybody that they can travel through time. But Freddy decided that he cannot tell the reporter the, the proof because Freddy thinks that the one that deserved the first place in the science competition was Harold. Because Harold was the one who by himself, he built the volcano by himself all alone. He built it days by days. He built it all alone by himself. So Freddy thinks that the first place in the competition belongs to Harold. So Harold is very happy and he's going to celebrate with his family. So Freddy decided it, it would be a great day. So he needs to walk back home right now. But the french fries are chasing each other. So they are just um, hanging out with each other. They are playing with each other. But then they accidentally push each other in the time machine and they accidentally press the button so freddy and the french fry they go back to the past or the future again and they disappeared there is a shame of them so i rate this book a 9 out of 10 because it is good and the ending it is a bit kind of like weird but it is okay and I recommend this book for you guys to read if you like science and if you like to invent things. So yeah, that is the end of this video and I hope you guys let me be able to like and subscribe. Goodbye.